and you do have a sign over your pancreas. That's the pancreas sign. Um, so you do know you do really do need to watch your sweet tooth. Okay. Open wide. I'll just take one more of this one as well. Above your kidneys sit your adrenals. In traditional Chinese medicine, they are connected. In Western medicine, they're not, but okay. in traditional Chinese yeah. medicine, they are. Um, but this is, see here? Mm. See that little sort of light dark? That's your adrenals. Okay. And there's a dark sh little spot over it. Okay, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Um, so, are there any symptoms that you want to discuss or you just want a, a reading and then we'll just see what we find from there? Yeah, I quite like to do the reading and then yeah, just see what we find. Take, go along. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem, no problem. Okay, so let me take a picture. If you look oh, okay. sort of here, I'll take a few. Okay, can you keep your eyes open? That's it. Let your eyes settle. Thank you. Okay, all good. Some more if they're a bit blurred, so just to see what they look like. Okay, so we can want to pull your chair around. So this is your this is your right eye. That's a really clear image. Okay, and when after in the next few days, once we've done this and say in a couple of days, I'll do I'll email you a report okay. with some pictures of your eyes. Okay? Thank you. from circulation problems wow. um, such as cold hands and feet yeah yeah I really do and uh, also this dark rim around the outside that indicates um, that the skin is involved and probably the kidneys if you're not flushing out toxins through the normal channels like your bowel and your kidneys it would come out into your skin. Do you suffer from, I just noticed you have yeah. a few spots, do you have um, any other skin issues at all? Um, it mostly comes out in acne. Um, today's actually, compared to usual, really calm. Um, and then I get quite some, if it's really bad, I get like rashes on my hands. Yeah. So yeah. Um, what you need to do is make sure you're drinking plenty and plenty of water to flush out all the toxins in your kidneys so mm. your kidneys can like work properly. Okay. And again, make sure again, you know, you drink the water for your bowel as well. Okay. Okay, so but yeah, that that's showing in your eyes. Wow. Okay. Um you've got a sensitive digestive um tract as well. So are you sensitive to certain foods? Yeah, I don't... I was never sure if I have IBS or not, but when I do have certain meals that are quite, like, 
full on. I do. It is quite quick. <laughs> yeah, so try slowing down chewing your food. Yeah. You should chew each mouthful 35 times mm. for it to actually break down properly and so you can digest it properly. Okay. If you're eating quickly and not breaking, not chewing properly, yeah. You're not actually um, di not going to be able to digest it properly. Yeah. Digestion starts in the mouth with the saliva and trying to break it down. So it's easier on your digestive tract and once it hits your stomach, mm -hmm. it's it's already sort of like chewed and, it, and your stomach doesn't have to break it down and use all that energy. Because if you're yeah. not releasing enough digestive enzymes, yeah. then it won't break it down further. And that can end up with food intolerances, things like that. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, your eyes are showing that you do have a, a sensitive digestive tract. So, um, and see this white around here? Yeah. Okay, that indicates, uh, you know, the whiteness, the, the, di the digestive um, sensitivity. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you don't look after, if you don't chew your food, um, and look after your digestion, you could end up with IBS, leaky gut, yeah. things like that. Okay. okay. So it's choo choo choo. Choo choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is. Yeah, see some yellow around here? Yeah. That yellow again indicates kidneys, kidney involvement. Okay. So it is, it's you need to make sure you look after your kidneys, flushing them out properly. Okay. Okay. So that's lots of water. I lots guess. of water. Okay, got great. Yeah. Yeah, see here, see this sign here? Can you see? Yeah. So this area is your right kidney. Okay. okay. So there's like a little dark spot there. That indicates again that your kidneys, you know, could be under pressure. Um, so it is, it's just, yeah, you need to look after your kidneys. You need to flush them out. Mm. Um, I can email you a kidney flush that I give my clients to do okay. and it's just um, olive oil and um, lemon juice and things like that and you just mm. you, you do that for a few days and just eat very lightly and okay. drink some detox teas and it really helps to flush all the toxins out of your kidneys. Sounds nice. So I'll it. do that when I'm... Yeah, I like both olive oil and lemon so that wouldn't be... <laughs> that looks like a bruise. Did you bruise your eye? Oh, no, it's a freckle. Oh, right, yeah. okay. I've just had it since I was born, I believe. Oh, right, okay. But it's, it hasn't changed or anything, yeah. so it's just sort of there. Ironically, my cat has one that's very really similar. Really? <laughs> oh. Do you suffer from um, bad dreams, nightmares? Um, I th occasionally, yes. The thing is, I often forget them really quickly. So I remember waking up at night, being scared, and then I go to the toilet. And then I don't remember what it was about in the morning. But yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah, so I'd rather not remember them. <laughs> How are your periods? They're pretty, pretty normal, yeah. Okay, any pain or anything? Just the usual amount, probably. Like, it's not dehabilitating, but it's not pleasant either. Are you uh, regular? Yeah, super regular. Uh, 
And how are your energy levels at the moment? Um, comparatively to what they used to be, they're really good. Good. Yeah. I'm not, not perfect, but I am starting to try exercise again and good. do things that will hopefully get it even better. So, yeah. Yeah. No, that's good. Because um, you, you, you have a sign here in your hypothalamus. And your hypothalamus um, obviously regulates a lot of the hormones. Okay. Um, so that's why I was asking about your periods right. and about your energy levels um, because some signs can indicate um, problems with menstruation um, and possible fibroids or endometriosis, PCOS, something like that. Mm. Have you... Uh, have you got any of that, or you, you to say you, you do say yeah. have a little bit of pain, but not a lot? Yeah, I I mean it's hard to compare to anyone else, but I, I think it's normal. Like yeah. I just like cramps really, so I don't think it's it's not it's excruciating bad. pain. You don't have to stay off work or anything like that. I mean, I'd, sometimes I'd rather stay at home, but I, <laughs> I don't. I think, yeah, I don't think it's super super bad. Oh, that's just good. Get a hot water good. bottle and. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, your um how are your bowels? Um, I feel like is that kind of linked to digestion? Is mm. that, yeah. They're very fast. It's good or for better or for worse. Yeah. Yeah, very quick after I eat a meal. Okay. And how often do you have a bowel motion? Um, depends on the day, but at least, at least once or twice a day. Okay, yeah, good. pretty frequent. But again, yeah, this is like, it comes back to your uh, sensitive uh, digestive tract, because obviously the digestive tract goes all the way down to your bowel, so... Yeah. Um, and that, yeah, indicates, as I say, very sensitivity, um, very sensitive tract, which can indicate, again, right. fast... Mm. Movement. Yeah. Okay. I think it can get even quicker if I have too much caffeine as well. So I'm always a bit Yeah, caffeine's a stimulant. So I'll be it then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I try not to have too much. Yeah. But I do like my green tea, so I'm quite a sensitive soul. <laughs> You're very caring. You have lots of, you have, do, I mean, you have middling energy. I wouldn't say you're like fantastic, but you have usually quite, um, you know, good energy. Okay. Um, when you're healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, you do have, and you have quite a good, strong constitution. Okay. When you do get ill, you will produce lots of mucus. Um, so to, to counteract that, try and get rid of that pathogen, that virus, that, that uh, cold virus or whatever it is. With the blue eyes, they're the kids, you know, the little kids you always see with snotty noses <laughs> because they react immediately and that's what you are, you've got blue eyes. Um, so you will react immediately, which is good because it's, it's a sign that your immune system is actually working. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's not accumulating stuff. You're actually, you, your immune system, like you get something, it goes, ah, no, don't like it. <laughs> so you'll get a cold, you'll be blowing your nose, your runny nose. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so that's, you'll be producing lots of mucus. That's normal. Okay. Okay, so you do have a normal sort of like constitution. Uh, as a medium to strong constitution. You do have quite a bit of... Um, acidity in your eyes again that could be down to some to do to your digestion um, and what you're eating but there's also some acidity in your musculoskeletal area okay so do you suffer from shoulder pains and neck pains and so much yeah yeah it's like the worst thing yeah. yeah, some massages, regular massages would do you very well. They yeah. really would, they would help you. Yeah. yeah. I make it worse as well because I carry all the big tripods. So I get home and it's like, oh. You need to get a trolley. 
I know, but then I think people at work might notice that I'm <laughs> going off to film after work. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be very discreet with my big trolley, but... Yeah, well, you should try and, you know, practice it's something got, yeah. that's, you know, just easier to to pull rather than carry. Yes, On yeah. your shoulders, because you do have those signs there, and they're there, you know, so unless you mm. look after yourself and regular massage, it's just going to get worse. Yeah. Okay. Is that, like, monthly or weekly? Well, it depends on what you can afford, really. Yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> yeah. How bad you are, but... Um, in an ideal world. <laughs> in an ide ideal world, weekly, yes. Yeah. If not, then monthly, yeah. I have had it where I had the most wonderful massage where she focused on my neck and it felt like I was a completely different person afterwards. It, it felt like my head wasn't connected to my body, it was that light. So I realised how much tension there must mm. be there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Indian head massage or head mm. and shoulder massage, um, that would really help. Mm. Yeah. Doing the right right side job for that. <laughs> if you go film one, <laughs> two birds with one stone. Yeah, exactly. That's for your next one. Be. Yeah, it must be. <laughs> your left eye. Mm, it's a bit fuzzy, I think I need to take another picture. But again, you can see the yellow around there. Mm. Now, as it's going into orange, there's a little touch of orange there. Yeah. Have you got a sweet tooth? Naturally, yes, I think. I try not to eat too much sweet stuff. I love sweet stuff. Do watch it because orange means um, or can indicate diabetes or pre-diabetes. Right, okay. So um, the more, obviously the more sweet food you eat, yeah. you could be going down the pre-diabetic or diabetic line. Yeah. So um, do watch your sweet tooth. Have to. Treats only. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in a household that sweets were like so everywhere and so normal, but since I moved out, I try really hard to not have them or see them as a, yeah, as something commonplace. And I think mm. it's got better. I feel like my taste buds have changed a bit, that it tastes too sweet sometimes with some yeah. things now. But yeah, still room for improvement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and the thing with sugar is the, the more you deny your body from sugar yeah the less it will crave it and then mm. like you say when you do have a sweet thing it'd be like oh god yeah. that's so sweet yeah so um yeah try and stay off it and just have it as a treat you know 80 20 rule yes 80 yeah. percent good diet 20 percent treat yourself i like but that but that's not every day <laughs> <laughs> and when you do treat yourself um yeah. You know, have healthy snacks as well, have mm. healthy food, not just cakes and yeah. biscuits and chocolate. <laughs> because there you do have that, there's very little orange, but there is some oh. orange there. And that does indicate, um, it can indicate diabetes. It can also indicate um, your liver. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, it is in the family, so it's always something to be careful of. Yeah. yeah. Because the thing with diabetes is you don't have to be, like, massively overweight mm. to, to get diabetes, you yeah. know? So it is about how much sugar you're feeding your body. Yeah. Because the more you demand, the um, mm. more you feed the sugar, the more your pancreas, because it's your pancreas that releases insulin. Right. 
and the digestive enzymes. So the more pressure you put on your pancreas, it's going to, over the years as well, yeah. it's just going to like, you know, suddenly like stop, stop working properly and that's when you mm. become insulin resistant. Yeah, so. that's scary. I did, um, I did a study about, it's about a year ago now, like the Zoe study. Just like a friend recommended it for a bit of fun because I like trying all these new things. And I did a blood sugar monitor for about a week and then they came back with the scores and they did say I had very poor blood sugar control. So it is quite scary to be wary of. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. And not so many um, processed carbs. Yes, yeah. I love my white rice though. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm careful. I always have sourdough when I have bread. That's good, always good. Good. But rice, rice is my downfall. White rice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So maybe not so much. Not yeah. every day. Yeah, not every day. Not every day. <laughs> okay. Let me just take. See if I can. What's the other one? Right. No, that's too fuzzy as well. Can I just take another picture? Yeah, of course. Of Okay, you have a sign here across over your thyroid. Are you suffering from that? It's again going back to tiredness and um, menstruation. Right. Um, there could be an imbalance there. It's it's poking the. It's sort of like pushing out over yeah. into your thyroid. Okay. Um, so they're just just again. What's your energy levels? Mm. Um, and again, if you know, if your hormones feel out of balance, um, mm -hmm. it could be your thyroid. Okay. Is there any history of thyroid problems in your family? Not that I know of. Um, yeah. See these little um, creamy white spots around here? Yeah. That indicates congestion in your system, particularly your lymphatic system. Okay. So, um, dry skin brushing would be really good for you. Yeah. Also rebounding. rebounding. Um, yeah, to get all the lymphatic, to get the lymph moving. Okay. So, dry skin brushing in the morning, yeah. um, like a few minutes before your shower. Okay. Um, it would just rip with the, you know, the, the, the dry brushes. Yeah, yeah, I've got one somewhere, I just never used it. Yeah, them. and it's, you don't need to do it hard, it's just a really, really soft, mm. gentle touch. And start your feet, or like work towards your heart okay. and your arms, and it only takes a few minutes. But if you do that um, before you're showering each morning, it mm. just wakes up your lymphatic system. Yeah. And again, your lymphatic system is part of your immune system. So, you do have signs of congestion, yeah. a sluggish lymph, that's what you got. Sluggish so lymph. by doing dry skin brushing, it just wakes up the whole system and you will, you'll feel, uh, and if you do this regularly, you yeah. will feel a lot more alert and alive and ready okay. for, you know, the morning. Yeah, right, okay. okay. Does it have to be before a shower? Or no, can it, it doesn't. just be just in the morning to wake up? Yeah, it can be. It doesn't okay. have to. Yeah, you don't have yeah. to do it a shower. Just okay. as you say, you know, people say, yeah. oh, I haven't got time to do it. Yeah. You do it just before you shower or okay. before your bath or whatever. But, it, you know, just 
I would say do it sometime in the morning. Okay, um, yeah. So yeah, so you've got congestion. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there's another scarf rim round here, which again, to do with your kidneys and your circulation. So you've got that in both eyes. Mm. Do you suffer from backache? Um, it's more on the shoulders and neck. I would say get a, a trolley or something. Something different, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just so you're not having that on your shoulders all the time. Mm. Because you will end up doing yourself a real in injury if you don't. You know, yeah. If you're doing this twice a week. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not good. I do get home and then I try a life lap to stretch yeah. them out and it's yeah. just painful. Yeah. Because they are heavy. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. try and think of another alternative about how to carry them. Yeah. Oh, wow, well, now, okay, this is over your lung area. Have you got, um, any problems in the family to do with lungs? Um, Your parents smokers or worked in? I think when they were younger, toxic? they did. Yeah, much younger. So when I was a kid, my dad still smoked. I think, yeah. Okay, so this could be um, inherited, but it's also there. It's what it's doing is showing you there's a weakness there. Okay. Okay, so it's come through genetically. Mm. But yeah, so don't take up smoking. Oh, I worry, <laughs> don't, don't go work with asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> but again, when you're travelling, again yeah. because you you know you live in London, so again, just be aware of where you're travelling and um, yeah. I know it's hard to do you know because you, you're walking along the road and just fumes literally just inundated. <laughs> but yeah, so do look after your your lungs because you, there is a weakness there. Do you have, when you get a cold, do you suffer from like bronchitis or anything? Um, no, no. I mm -hmm. get shortness of breath, but that's probably the main thing. Yeah. Well, that's to do with your lungs as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Shortness of breath, so. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so just be aware. Yeah, you do have some slight orange in here, so you do need to be aware of your sweet tooth. Smarten these up once I get them home and make them oh, okay. crisper. Also need to look after your your energy, mm -hmm. your adrenals. Okay. Okay. Now, as I said before, um, your kidneys are under pressure a bit. Mm. Above your kidneys sit your adrenals. In traditional Chinese medicine, they are connected. In Western medicine, they're not. But okay. in traditional Chinese yeah. medicine, they are. Um, but this is see here. Mm. See that little sort of light dark. That's your adrenals, okay. and there's a dark sh little spot over it, 
um, and that indicates that can indicate um, a bit of pressure they're under pressure so mm. you just need to be aware and when, when I went back to before when I was saying you know you've got um, you don't have fantastic energy mm. uh, yeah. levels yeah. but you have sort of medium you've got quite good constitution you've got you know a quite good energy levels what you need to watch is that you don't push yourself too far because mm. you really you want to get things finished you don't like delegating mm. and it's like well no I, if anyone's going to do it I can do it mm -hmm. I can do it better than anybody else so I just do it <laughs> does that sound sounds very on the mark <laughs> yeah. so you need to watch that okay because I know, you know, you do have a tendency to, to push yourself, to finish mm. stuff, yeah. to get things done. Yeah. Because you think you're the only person that can do it properly. Yeah. So just be aware of like how much you push yourself. Mm. Because okay. again, um, the more you're pushing yourself for like energy, the more pressure you're putting on your adrenals. Right. Okay. And again, you know, everyone needs rest. Your adrenals re need rest. Your kidneys need rest. Everything yeah. needs rest. But so you know, just and and learn to delegate. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a good and new year's resolution. Learn to say no as well, mm. <laughs> because you do tend to take a lot on. Mm. You know, people say to you, "Oh, Melissa, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do that?" And this is family and friends as well as work. Mm. Yeah. You know, everybody sends to like, okay. Melissa would do it, she would just give it to her. And you do, you tend to say yes. Yeah. So you need to learn to say no sometimes. And you'll shock a few people. And, <laughs> what do you mean no? Yeah. But you, you know, you do have to look after yourself. I'm not saying you're going to have adrenal fatigue or wipeout or burnout or anything like that. Yeah. But there is a sign there just showing that if you're not careful, mm -hmm. your adrenals will are under pressure so you okay. just need to be aware of them yeah. okay so you know pace yourself mm. and if you can't finish what you're doing that evening or that day then yeah. just okay i will finish it tomorrow okay there's always another day yeah hopefully so <laughs> just you know learn to pace yourself okay okay Yeah, your stomach acids are quite um, low. So again, this would uh, tie in with the sort of like the digestion. Mm. Okay. Um, and again, if you're not chewing properly, you, your stomach's not going to break down the foods properly. And again, this comes also back to the pancreas because the pancreas releases digestive enzymes. Mm. So, you know, because everything's connected. So you need to chew your food properly. Um, do you take apple cider vinegar? Sometimes, yes, although I forget to do it a lot. But I am trying to have it before my lunch break at work. But I definitely miss it more than I do it. But I, I know I should. Yeah. I'm trying. OK, well, yeah. keep a bottle on your desk or in your desk drawer. Yeah. Um, you know, and just put a post-it note. Absolutely, really good for lunch. I just need to because do that would really help. It helps yeah. to balance the hydrochloric acid in your stomach. Okay. Um, again, just before a meal, uh, mm. it just helps to to get the digestive enzymes there in your stomach. When you're ready to eat, yeah. it can break down the food properly, because you, you're a bit hypoacidic at the moment. Okay. okay. And again, they say that will ha reflect on how much you're digesting and how you are digesting your food. Okay. Okay. So if you, if you're if you're low stomach acid, um, they say you know you're not going to digest it properly. Right. And if you're not digesting it properly, your nutrients are not getting to the rest of the body. Would that then link to low energy levels as well? Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll make sure I'm taking it. I think it's one of the things I kept tried to keep as a habit from our initial consultation because yeah. it's one of those things and like maybe like once or twice a week I'm actually doing it but it needs to yeah, be a proper you habit. You need to do it every day. Yeah. yeah. So that, that that will help. Okay.
Yeah, and you do have a sign over your pancreas. That's the pancreas sign. Um, so you do not, you do really do need to watch your sweet tooth. Okay. Do you have any hearing problems? Um, not problems per se, but sometimes I hear a ringing and stuff. But yeah. Okay. Ginkgo is very good for um, tinnitus or anything like that, but to do with the ears, because okay. it's very good for the microcirculation. Okay, I think I heard ginkgo recently for something. It's great for lots of things. Yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to look into that. I'm like, yeah. Okay, that's the push I needed. <laughs> yeah, and again, circulation, just looking at the pupil, the shape of it. Um, some of it indicates, again, your circulation. You really do need to to keep an eye on that. Mm. Um, do you exercise? Are you saying you start to exercise again? Yeah, so I hadn't been for ages because I think with whatever I had going on with fatigue stuff, um, I was prone to getting like little temperatures. If I did too much exercise, and I guess my daily commute and all of that is already quite taxing mm. when I was tired. And then if I did lots of exercise on top of that, I'd just be a bit like literally in bed all, all week or weekend um but slowly now i'm just trying to do maybe once or twice a week and get it back up doing some light sort of stretches and movements in the morning when i wake up yeah um so slowly trying to get the stamina back and no and, and the thing is okay. do it slowly yeah. because if you go full pelt you just collapse and exactly you yeah just, you know set yourself back yeah so doing it slowly is good yeah, yeah and, and stretching, just stretching is fantastic. Yeah. And again, it's just something. And yeah, if you do the dry skin brushing mm. or the rebounding, you know, like a little trampoline. Oh, okay, yeah. That's what a rebounder is. I don't know why they call it a rebounder. Yeah. It's just <laughs> rebound, don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I always call it just a little trampoline. Okay. But again, that is that. really good for getting the lymphatic system moving. Interesting. Mm. I wonder if that would be okay in my apartment, but... Dry brushing I can definitely do from tomorrow onwards. And then I'll look into the rebounding on a good apartment floor. <laughs> Sounds fun though. Do you know if you suffer from anemia? Um, I don't think so. I had um, a blood test done because I had similar symptoms, but I think it was just vitamin D deficiency at the time. Oh, right, so okay. I, I took that and then it got a bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I think I have a lot of friends that sort of go around saying, take iron, take iron, because that's what their symptoms were. We're all quite similar. And I was like, no, mine wasn't iron, I don't think so. <laughs>
this are mainly the main things that um, are pointing out to me are one, your circulation, mm. your skin, your kidneys, mm. obviously the skin and kidneys are connected, your digestion mm -hmm. and your sweet tooth. Mm. Good to hear, good to hear about the sweet tooth. Yeah, so you do need to watch that because there are signs there and that yellow mm. um, that will turn into towards orange, that is indicating, um, you know, the sweet tooth, the sweetness. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, that your pr pancreas would be under pressure. Right. Okay, I'll be aware of that. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you're tired, I think your body starts, that's when it starts getting in the danger zone. Yeah, because you just want comfort food yeah. and it's just, and usually comfort food is sugary food, sweet food mm. or carbs, or, yeah. you know, and it's processed carbs. Um, if you're going to have carbs, have complex carbs, like yeah. whole grains. Yeah. Okay. So watch the white flour products, the white stuff, the white foods, Yeah. white rice, white yeah. bread white cakes, white biscuits. Okay. So, yeah. you know, reduce them mm. and have more complex. So brown rice, yeah. uh, wild rice, red rice, you know, there's all quite a few different types of rice rather than just mm -hmm. white. Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah, black rice, red rice. Black so, rice? Yeah, there's lots of different... That's cool. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's lots of different other rices to choose from and other mm. grains um, yeah. but yeah have whole grains rather than white stuff all the time okay um, right. because that again will help with your energy levels because it's less slow releasing yeah. so whereas white white foods mm. because a lot of time they're processed and they're full of sugar they give you a quick spike of energy but yeah. then they're pfft, you know you're slumped back down again yeah. Whereas complex carbs, it's slow releasing energy, so they keep you on an even keel throughout the day, hopefully. Mm. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you do need to, to look after yourself and not push yourself so much um, and get yourself regular massages. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, because you know, you've, you've got quite a bit of acidity in your body, especially around the musculoskeletal area, a bit of congestion. Mm. Um, so it is, yeah, you do need to get that lymphatic system moving. and. Um, that will really help as well. That will help with the musculoskeletal area as well. Okay. Like getting everything moving, right. getting your circulation moving, getting your lymph moving. Yeah. And you, you know, you don't have to run miles and miles and miles. Just a bit dry skin brushing. Yeah. A few I massages. Like <laughs> it's not. It's not a few hard stretches. Though. Yeah. Yeah. It's not hard. It's not it hard. Sounds, it sounds good. Yeah. I will never say no to having an excuse <laughs> to have a massage, especially neck and shoulders. Yeah. You're quite a well-balanced person. You're not overly anxious or a great warrior. Yeah. Mm. Um, I would say. I don't know, you can <laughs> contradict no, me I agree. Like. I agree. Yeah. I I agree entirely about all the uh, not leaving it to others thing. That's like the only worry sort of thing I have. I'm not usually much of a warrior. Yeah. Yeah. But as I say, you must learn to delegate or be <laughs> kind to yourself. Yes. You know, don't push yourself so much mm. and don't put so much pressure on yourself to get things done. Yes. You know, so, you know, just leave it, do half, do what you can, shut up shop, go home and then finish it tomorrow. Yeah. Good thing to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Just try scheduling in some rest days, maybe. Yes. Yes. It's in the schedule, I'll do it. <laughs> but this is what you've got to do because people with like your 
um, eyes, they tend to just push and push and push themselves. Mm. And they think, yeah, I've got oh, this, right, I can do it, I can do it, I'll do it. And you're still there, sort of like eight o'clock at night going, oh, I just <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> and you haven't even gone home yet, you know, sort of yeah. like this is in the office. So yeah. okay. <laughs> you need to, you need to give yourself, yeah, put in your schedule, finish early. Yeah. Day off, mm. time, rest, 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 <laughs> finish early, you know, sort of like, because yeah, you say, if you don't, you're going to end up, um, and this is where your adrenals comes in, you know, you will end up pushing yourself too much. Yeah. And then your adrenals will be out of balance. And again, this goes back to the hypothalamus sign that I saw, because that's, you know, it's the hypothalamus up here somewhere in your head. Okay. Um controls a lot of the hormones mm -hmm. okay and it's also um, it regulates your energy levels mm -hmm. um, it, it regulates a lot you mm -hmm. know sort of like but say especially hormones your thyroid mm -hmm. and you do have that thyroid sign as well so you really do need to watch your keep pace just pace yourself okay it's Good, good thing to be yeah. aware of that I hadn't been Yeah, especially of. now because you you know you're still young. Yeah. But if you keep going at the fast rate you you are at the moment and mm. you know that tr -tr 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 mm. by thirty you're gonna be on the floor. <laughs> I hope not. So yeah, that's if you that's good. Pace yourself, it? if you mm. look after yourself nutritionally as well as um, physically, psychologically mm. You're, you'll be in a great place, okay. you know, because although these signs are there, especially your thyroid, doesn't mean to say it's going to get any worse if you look after yourself. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So these are really, I mean, this is what iridology is really good at. It's, it's about warning you what could be mm -hmm. and where the weaknesses are arising in your body mm -hmm. so that you're aware so that then you can change and do something about it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's really good that it's like, it's just helps you be aware of things that it's almost self improvement sort of. It is. Things. And you know, like your sweet tooth. You yeah. Miss, you know, you got a sweet tooth, it runs in the family, and lo and behold, yeah. Yeah. There it is in your eyes. Yeah, it's <laughs> fascinating. And that again, that's a warning sign. Yeah. It's Which like, I need. you know, you, you need to heed, yeah. Mm. Um, because it's there. If you stop eating the sweets or really reduce them, mm. you'll be fine. You won't have diabetes. You won't mm. have, you won't be pre-diabetic, you know. So you just, again, you need, it's about nutrition. It comes back to nutrition a lot. What you're putting in your body. Mm. Because what puts in reflects on how your energy levels are, yeah. how your mental capacity is, you know, mm. everything, everything. Yeah. And again, you know, your digestion. Because again, everything's connected. If your pancreas is over, is under pressure, mm. not releasing enough digestive enzymes in your stomach, so you're not breaking the foods down properly. Yeah. So again, you know, you're going to end up with um, a really sensitive digestive tract and um, probably food intolerances yeah good to be aware of all of that <laughs> so it's not all good yeah. it's not all bad news yeah it's, yeah it's you know because you haven't got there yet yeah and i hope you don't get there so i hope this is a warning to you mm. to lie okay i'm not i haven't gone down that road yet and i yeah. don't want to so this is now the time to reflect and mm. think about how I can actually change things in my life to improve it. Exactly. Such as getting a trolley. Yes, I've got a lot, <laughs> lot of little bits of homework to do today. <laughs> yeah. Good. But, um, so I, I mean, again, so I will, I will write a report, probably have a lot more in the report, mm. um, and send you pictures of your eyes. So you've Thank got you. that there. Yeah. So you've got it there forever for reference, whatever. Cool. Okay. Thanks so much. Are you allergic to anything? Um, just hay fever, really. Ah, this be it then. 
the red um, little veins in your sclera, the white of your eyes. Yeah. Usually indicates allergies, oh, such as okay. hay fever. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sadly get. Yeah. Don't enjoy it, but sadly. Do you take anything for it? Um. Sometimes. Do as I don't really like taking hay fever tablets because they make me sleepy. So I just breathe it. But yeah. yeah. I I've seen people with it far worse. I'm not that bad. It's more norm. Yeah, just my eyes and my nose. Yeah. Yeah. Quercetin's quite good for hay fever. Okay. Um, but I'll put a few things when I email you. Thank you. Are there any questions that you'd like to ask me? Um, I don't know, it's fascinating now. I'm just like a bit curious about iridology in general now. <laughs> Like, is it related to Chinese medicine at all then? Or? No, um, it's, it's been going back, I suppose, the aridology that we know is going back to the 1800s oh. um, when um, Ignacy Piskeli, I can't remember his name now, but he, um, he had a pet owl okay. and his owl broke the leg, but he saw in the owl's eye a sign, a, like a, a mark that yeah. had appeared. Oh. So he then, this is when he was young, and then he went on to study medicine, and he first did some, like, um, sort of mapping of the eyes mm. and his patient's symptoms and how they correlated. And then oh. further on, you know, um, in history, then in the 1900s, you got a lot more... German medics using iridology and mapping eyes and and then the Americas as well. Um, again, you've got like, in the 1900s, you've got like Jensen, you've got Deck um, and a few people. So in Europe, it was really, really, um, it's been used quite a lot. Oh. Perhaps more in Europe than in England. Right, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, but reading of the people's eyes, been going back to Greek, Egypt, Egyptian times, yeah. but really in the eighteen hundreds, that's when it first, when he first started to like map um, the eyes. Yeah. yeah, it's fascinating. I just, I'd literally never heard about it till you mentioned it. So I'm glad, glad I got a chance to give it a go. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's a bit of a fuzzy picture, but um, yeah. So they're, they're they're the main points, and I'll probably put a few bit more in the report um yeah but oh. any any questions just yeah. let me know thank you so much yeah. that was so much that was it feels like really like a good reflection um, pun intended i guess behind, but like, <laughs> like reflecting on everything that could do with some improvement in my life and to be aware of so thank you so much you're welcome. Really good. you're welcome yeah